Well, the dry ice is out, which means it must be time to reveal one of the final celebrities joining the Dancing on Ice lineup. Twelve skaters will join the professionals on ice, and with ten announced already, who is putting their skates on next? Well, here are a few clues. She was born in London, started her TV, TV career in Australia, but went on to host an award-winning British chat show. Let's find out who it is. Yay! Hey! You look fabulous. Last time you'll see me look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha, first obvious question. Can you actually ice skate? Um... You yeah, I, to, I, yeah, you? yeah. I learnt to ice skate when I was a kid. So you're quite I, good. Um, <laughs> I can ice skate. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done a lift? Um, yes, Ooh. in my hotel, <laughs> up to the fifth floor, <laughs> oh, I get in right. the lift. Uh, no, no. Um, you know, that's not why I signed up. Actually, it's a very funny story as to why I signed up. Mm. I, I actually went to. I was invited to an equity rooftop. Soiree in New York. Yeah. And I went along and there were lots of English lovies, British lovies, and there was one American guy there. And I said, How come you're a member of Equity? And he said, Well, actually, I was one of the pros on Dancing on Ice. So I wanted to skill up because I roll a blade and things like that. And I wanted to skill up with my ice skating. I'm arranging with him what how many sessions we can do, where we can meet to do it. And then I take a after a few bevies, <laughs> take a, a selfie saying, I do dancing on ice if I could do it with this dude. The next morning I got a call. Literally the next morning next you get a call from Dancing on Ice <laughs> saying We'd like to sign you up. Yeah, hangover hadn't even cleared. <laughs> <laughs> the capacity to make a complete fool of yourself on the ice, I would say, is higher than it is on, say, Strictly, because of the ice. Are you, are you uh, worried about potential humiliation? No. Really? No, no. I come on this show all the time. Why would I be? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, um, I, couldn't do, I, I wouldn't do Strictly because, I, to me, the whole thing about dancing is freedom. Um, and I, I, I'm sorry, I just... You know, some people love that ballroom dancing, mm. some people don't. I don't happen to like it. I love physical stuff, though. Mm. As you know, I mean, every day I bike ride, I run 10K, run, you know, bike 10K, I weight train. I, I love any physical thing. I learnt to ski at 37, I learnt mm. to roll a blade at 40, 42, mm. I started running at 42. I'm 62 in December. I thought, what? why not? You're not. Are you really? 62. You look wow. incredible. What's your secret? Lulu said she's 70. She said her secret is living well. Is that, is that the secret? Oh, I don't know. Well, actually, my secret, <laughs> it's a really... Look, my secret's chemotherapy. Yeah. yeah. It means I'm alive. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> we, we're, I'm about to go and hijack Lorraine Kelly's show. She's been on the air for 35 oh, years. I know, she's an old man. You're a, a great showbiz trooper. Uh, Lulu was early with it. What's the secret to longevity in a very precarious business like show business? Lorraine and I always say when we meet up, she always says, and excuse me for mimicking you, Lorraine, we're still flying under Rita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's... I don't know, we're job... I think people like Lulu, myself, uh, Lorraine, we're kind of jobbing presenters, if mm. you like. I mean, I started off as just another journo in the newsroom. And when I was in Australia, I remember one of my editors, when I signed off from a piece, uh, and one of my editors saying, uh, mate, you took seven seconds to sign off. Do you think you're some kind of bloody superstar or something? <laughs> mm. You know, so we were just working journos. Mm. So we still see ourselves as that. I don't think we take ourselves... Yeah. There's also seriously. a work ethic, I think, that unites all of you. I think Lulu, uh, Lorraine, you... It's about getting up and thinking, I've got to put a shift in. Go to work. You have keep to. Working, put keep working, keep driving on. Your on. Face. Yeah, yeah, I've been and a single mum mm. for many years and I'm the one bringing home the, the kosher bacon. I've got to say, Happy New Year. I think oh, the yeah. biggest problem it's is... Happy New Year. The biggest problem is retirement. Nobody should ever retire. I don't know. Well, well you're good. not retiring, you're mm. taking to the ice.